Oh, hello there. Welcome to our little cabin in the woods. Before I get to art journaling, I thought I would share with you everything that I brought along with me. First of all, this is a canvas tote that I've had for a really long time that someone gave to me at an art workshop. It fits everything nicely without feeling too overpacked. Next up, I have this pencil case from Art Snacks that I picked up many years ago as well, but it fits a lot, has good storage, again, without overpacking. The book that I brought with me is a Moleskin Art Plus that I started a really long time ago at the start of the pandemic, and I am determined to finally finish this thing. Oh, uh, don't mind this. I'm in the midst of potty training. You know, mama's got to do her research. It is what it is. Up next is my travel watercolor palette, which is actually a bunch of sample paints that one of my patrons sent me. It's one of my favorite things. Nintendo Switch, obviously, because, well, Animal Crossing. And then a Altoid tin, which is, in fact, not Altoids, but actually my Kiritake Ganzai Tombi watercolors. I've found that a little tin like this fits six pans really nicely without having to bring the entire box of paints. Oh yeah, and then I've got just some random tech cords in there, charger and whatnot. But let's take a closer look at my pencil case. I try my best to really limit how much stuff I'm bringing and I wanna be realistic about things when I'm gonna be gone for a few days out of town. I like to grab things like paint tubes that are easy to pack and store and they're in a Ziploc bag because of altitude. I didn't want anything exploding on me. And then in the back pocket here, I like to use a space for glue and my kneaded eraser and my crafter's tape in case I wanna stick stuff into my sketchbook. Pencils, I try to grab just my favorites, my red and blue pencils that I love, uh, Posca paint pens, a couple of brushes, one for both like watercolor and another for messy mixed media stuff, a china marker, chunky crayons, stuff that I know and love and that travels well. Another fun perk to the cabin is that there's always random art supplies around. My artist mom loves to have random caddies of old supplies and stationery around, which tends to be a lot of fun to work with. And I would like to think that that mixed with the altitude and the quiet space always leads me to creating some really interesting work. And although I did do some kind of just generic illustration stuff, I always tend to really lean into my art journaling when I'm up here. And it's often a very abstract and primitive and really process focused. And I don't know, it's just like I get into a, a real interesting zone. So yeah, create alongside me, won't you?